So the first hit up of the guy will come for the Brisbane Broncos. And that's a solid hit out in this game. And it's Corey Jets who's been put to the ground. Brennan Picura. Well, he got knocked out in the first six minutes of last week. Hopefully he can last a little bit longer. He's wearing the heck here tonight. Payne Haas. Well, they're going to have to stop him early tonight. That's his first run. They hopefully can stop him a lot more in this game. Corey Jensen, who's starting tonight, who started off the bench last week. Dragged down 10 short of halfway. Walsh, first touch of the ball. He's playing more like a front row in the line in this on this occasion. So that is the first set goal of the game. Reynolds. It's a wobbly old one to start with. But the first pair of the game, they're offside. The downturn rules come into play. There were some players in front of the kicker who decided to move forward. Just to repeat for some of the players that there is a new rule this year that you can't move forward if you are in front of the kicker. Even if you play the football. And they've paid the price on this occasion. And now South Sydney on the attack. Well, they didn't think they'd be down at this end of the park early in this game. A bit of a surprise. They come in the middle with Kepi. He decides to take a settler. And I think he lost the ball in the tackle, has he? Yes, he has. And so we're going to have a scrum. Well, only two tackles and South Sydney have lost possession. You don't want to do it to this Brisbane side. Well, Brisbane were a little bit ill-disciplined there. You can't be offside in front of the kicker. They're all warned in the season, that new rule. They'll make it easy yard is to Brisbane, that first set. And they're going to be let off here at least with that error by Sean Kepi. Yeah, remember, if you'd like to have your say about anything to do with rugby league, just leave it in the chat. Hope you join us for where you are around the world, wherever it's Papua New Guinea, the USA, in the UK, or even here in Australia. We'd like to hear your feedback. And now Wallace going from dummy half. Walsh. Carrigan. Oh, he jumped on his backside. The players did like that one. Jared Sutton's ruled a penalty. Over the horizontal. The South defenders just got really excited there. He turned him upside down. Well, you've seen the, sky, you've seen the Brisbane sky there, Patrick Carrigan. And so now Brisbane get a chance to be near the South Sydney try line. Reynolds. Straight to Jensen. They contain it very well, the South Sydney side. That's the first tackle. He's 25 out from the Rabbitohs line. Short ball now from Carrigan on to Payne Haas. They're the, they're, these two big men will be the big difference for this Brisbane Broncos side tonight to win this game. Reynolds out the back to Walsh. He's lost the football. Great pressure there by the South Sydney inside defence. Well... Cody Rooker read that really, really well. They just rushed Bruce Walsh then. And now, Isaiah Tass. Taking his first run for the night. Well, they'll need a lot of work from those back men tonight for South Sydney. Shaq Mitchell. He's come on to the run on side. He did probably thought he would start on Tuesday. Kepi. Still going, Kepi. Hangs on to the football this time. They come to the blind side. He's Murray. 30 metres out now. Slow play of the ball. He's hurt too in that tackle. Referee will stop the clock. Good question, Objective Vortex. No, Corey Oates was actually dropped as 18th man before uh, the Lions were named tonight. So he's not in... In, in the 18 man tonight. So, Xavier Wilson is in jersey number 19 tonight. Corey Oates is playing in Queensland Cup at this stage.
So they're sticking with the likes of Dean Mariners. The last tackle gown goes high. It's a good kick to Walsh. He took it very well indeed. Latrell Mitchell was coming down upon him. Once again, they're going to stop the clock. So we've restarted play in Brisbane. Are just coming up from their own team. Under a bit of pressure here. Let's just see how they go in this set because this is where they struggled in the second half against the Roosters last week. The Roosters just smothered them inside their own 30. Wild as a dummy half. Carrigan doing all the legwork here. Three South City men around him. And they're finally getting the ground five short of halfway. So they got themselves the five short of halfway on the last. Reynolds with a kick. It's wobbling around there. And Jatrell Mitchell decides to trap it. He want to take that on the full. He's obviously very hesitant. He might not know who his um, winger was there on that occasion. Kenner. Had up and up and down game last week, Richie Kenner. He'd like to get it right tonight. Tane Mill back in the run on side for 2024. Cook's gone for a dummy half. That's the first time a certain run. I reckon this year he didn't do much running last last round there against the Manuringa side. They come to the blind. This is Cole, Cole Matangi. And Keon gets another 35 out. That's the last tackle. Back it goes there. He's going to have to run. It's been charged down by a Bronco. This should be six more. It is. And Elias will, be, will take the tackle to South Sydney. We'll get another set against the Broncos here. And they can try and go for that attacking raid on that left-hand side, which has been their stronghold for the last couple of years. Kepi now. He's dragged down 35 out from the Brisbane line. They come to the left now. Elias, Walker, Mitchell gets it to Kenner. Oh, he couldn't find the, the, the flyer. And Alex Johnson is looking for that 190th try to equal Billy Slater. Now Shaq, now a couple of passes. Find Shaq Mitchell. And he's held up underneath the post. Three metres out. Last tackle. This is that one. He's a side to run. Now Walker gets it now to Tane Mill. He, he can't get the ball away. He's got the touch on the last. Well, the Brisbane defence hung on there on the last. They were able to regroup themselves. They were sure of the numbers on the on their left hand side there. But good work from Selen Cobo. He made the tackle when required. Tane Milne was, was decided he should come in or stay out, and he ended up going over the sideline. Well, that's something Brisbane's got to watch out for tonight with Walker, Ilias, and Mitchell on that left hand side. And they all, they already try to use it early in this game. So the ball's been a lot in play so far in this first eight minutes. Jensen now. Hooked into the turf there. Carrigan carrying a couple of defenders out of his 30. Payne Haas. Well, you can always get 10 metres out of him every time he runs. He's nearly a, a machine, this bloke. It's the last, and Reynolds is going for a cross-field kick here. It bounces nicely to his former team at Alex Johnston. And now Kenner going back in field. Dragged, wrestled to the ground there by Billy Walters. And Shaq Mitchell trying to... Spin his way out of that tackle. Look at goes from dummy half. Elias. Now Mitchell. Oh, he had the ball free there, but he decided to hang on to it. And so they'll come to they'll stay in the middle of the field now with Tyler. Stands tall. And that is the last. He's 35 out for the Brisbane line. Now they go down to Walker. Crossfield kick towards Alex Johnson. Here's Walsh. Walsh takes it high above the pack. And a good take from Reese. Just outside, inside the field of play. Stags. 
So the backs are just taking the runs here. And the referee's going to penalise Brisbane for an obstruction here, Will. Marion decided to run behind one of his own players and extracted one of the defenders. Suicidal there from Brisbane inside their own 20. And so, Bruce, and so South Sydney in the first 10 minutes could get the first points of the ball. They're going for the tap here. And Kempi will take the settler. Couple of leaders out for the line. Thanks for your comments, Jonathan. South Sydney on the attack here. Can they get their first points on the board? Jack Mitchell here on Thursday night footy. Can it score the first try for South last week? Can he do it again? Walking out of Colmar, tucking. No. Well done by Jordan Ricky and Adam Reynolds. They go the other way, South. Walker. Out the back it goes out of Shaq Mitchell. Ilya Short and Adam Murray. Wrapped up quickly there by Cobo. And Brennan Piakura. Now, now it's Shaq Mitchell. Three metres out from the line. Last tackle now says Jared Sutton, the boy from Coonabara brand. As Cook puts a kick in and rebounds and goes straight back at Adam Reynolds. The former Rabido was there on the spot. We well, had to be. Oh, it's a knock on from Brisbane. Well, there's a lot of errors in this game so far. Bruce Walsh has coughed it up there again. So South Sydney applying the blowtorch already. Oh, it just slipped out of his hands. Well, that's not where they need it. So, a scrum here. We'll just have a check at stats in a shortly, but they're on the attack. He starts to go to the blind side from the scrum. It wasn't executed well. Johnson's now lost the football. Scrambling offence there by the Brisbane Broncos, but it was terrible execution from South Sydney. They'd like to have that back again. And now Brisbane take it on the attack. They really needed to because they just went nowhere. The Brisbane side, they're just struggling to get outside their, their own 30 again, just like last week. Sounds are doing a really good job at the moment. But Sounds have been at the other end a lot so far in this game, but no points on the board. 71% in possession, but it's still no zero all as Walsh drives it downfield on the fourth tackle. He needs to. And coming back is Latrell Mitchell. And and great kick chase by the fullback, Reese Walsh. He was right there, the Queenslander. He wants a big game tonight in front of his home crowd. And now it's South Sydney's turn to try and get out of trouble. Well, Brisbane really need to get some metres from their set at the moment. South Sydney are camping them down that northern end of the park. As now Shaq Mitchell tr trumbles up to his own 30 metre line. Now Kepi buys short of halfway. That is the last tackle now. Walker. It's out on the forward, and that is where exactly Brisbane want to be. Last tackle. Walker doesn't execute it. Well, that's his fourth error of the night. Completion rate finally for Brisbane's 80%, but they've dropped. They just haven't had the ball right in the park. And now Brisbane are back up South City's end of the park. So it's a bit of. Forcing's back here at the moment. Six more tackles here now for the Brisbane side. As as the trade station whistle goes off. Reynolds. 
Now Stags trying to get outside his man. He's still going. Oh, he just got tackled from behind. He's lost the ball. And Richie Kenner has come up with it. And I think Tony Stags has been hurt too. He's still on the ground there. I think he's just more disappointed. He made a little half bust there. And he ends up losing the football. As now South Sydney get it through. Isaiah Tass. Now to Tyler. Making his metres there on the halfway. That's what he does so well to Vita to Tyler. Early kick here from Elias on the third tackle behind the line. He knew Reese Walsh was up. That's not a bad play there from Lachlan Elias. I, I don't mind that at all. Just to turn them around a little bit. Get these big Brisbane forwards back on side. Now Cobo taking a run in field. They're just struggling at the moment here, Brisbane, to really get any yardage. Now Reynolds goes for an early kick. And he can now see his flying wing on the right-hand side here. And Johnson's going to touch. He throws it back in the field to play. And Reynolds has come up with the touch, touch flag is up. So we're going to have a scrum feed here to the to the South Sydney to the Brisbane team here. Again, it's the early kick that's just causing the pressure. Now we're going to have a captain's challenge here. So the, is the question a, is the question a a double tackle over the sideline? So they're just checking the onside here from the kick. Now it's got to be two feet behind the line or it's offside. So Dean Marin has got his two feet behind the line. Now it's a question mark if Alex Johnston has been, has been tackled twice in the touch or is he, if it's gone into touch is the first thing. Yes, he's in a touch there. So he's, his backside is on the line. So that's an unsuccessful challenge. And so, and so Brisbane will have to play the ball. And that's, and that's no more challenges for the bunny. So that's a waste of challenge. As now we see Brisbane taking it up. And they're looking to spread it to the left. Billy Walters is asking his troops, where do I go now? Jensen will watch out for Reese Walsh. What is he going to be doing in the back line here? That's the question that South Sydney going to have to ponder. Carrigan takes it ahead. So no surprises so far for the South Sydney defence. It's the third tackle now. Haas at first receiver. He takes it forward. Oh, he's looking to offload it there. He's still going, Payne Haas. And he's three metres out from the line. Quick, A good play of the ball. Wallace switches the attack to Jensen. Well, it's been pretty much a hit the ball up sort of set. Last tackle now. Reynolds puts a little kick in. He's barred up. Does he ground the ball? Or the South City ground it? Let's wait and see what Jared Sutton says. I think it's a try. It's a try being scored here by Dean Mariner. He puts it down in the corner. Beautiful play. So Adam Reynolds held it up beautifully. Johnson had to turn and chase. Well, was there a little bit of a doubt on the on the grounding by Dean Mariner? He puts the little kick in behind. Lovely little play there. Let's have a look. Oh, I think he's got it down. I think he's got there. Slide by makes it look worse at times. But I'm sure he's got that football down. So the Brisbane side are on the board first. Well, they haven't confirmed it yet. So we're still waiting for the bunker to make a decision for Adam G. It was a lovely little kick from Reynolds. And you, his former team, Alex Johnson, had to turn, and Dean Mariner was there first. 
The question mark is, has he ground the football? Yes, it's been confirmed, so it's a try. So good stuff there for the for the Broncos. And finally, someone has cracked the try line. So a kick here for Adam Reynolds to make this six points to nil. He's about 15 metres in from that Western touch line. Here comes Reynolds now. And he's hooked it to the left, so no goal. So the score remains here, four points to nil. My name is Top and S. Hope you're enjoying it on Simply Rugby League. Just remember, if you'd like to have your say about anything to do with Rugby League, whether it's in Australia or all around the world, just leave it in the chat. Remember to subscribe to see all the content that you want to see. And remember to like and share and follow on all my, all my social medias as well. And that also includes my YouTube channel where you'll see some polls and also some other content as well. And also, we've also got some match highlights as well after this game. Full match replays and there's footy tipping as well. If you want to go at the halftime break and watch the footy tipping, to see if your footy tips match up for round two of this competition. Well, if you're a Brisbane Broncos fan, you should be happy your team's up 4-0. They're under a little bit of pressure early on. And now at least they're on the board first. They'll give a bit of a relief, I reckon. Bit of confidence now as Jensen gets in the halfway on the last. So that's been a good set. They've got 52 metres there from the Brisbane side. Reynolds was hit hard late there, but it wasn't illegal. And what they're doing is really nice stuff here, Brisbane. They're playing the basic games tonight. I don't think they're overplaying their hand like they did last week. That's a good tackle on Kenner there by Staggs. Drove him in the ground there. That was a solid hit there by Katoni Staggs. The trial mission goes out the back to They're going to try and play their hand inside their own 20. He was wrestled to the ground there. Tasked there by Cobbo. And now Tane Mill coming in off his wing there. To help his team out. Now Cole Matani. Trying to run over the top of Adam Reynolds and Billy Wallace. This is the last set. They've gone nowhere in this set here. Latrell Mitchell's had to flog it as far as he can. Got a bit of purchase on that one. They've let the ball bounce. And finally, Jesse Arthurs gets it back to the 30. And that's at Brisbane's end of the ground. So we're halfway through the first half. It's 4 0 to the Broncos. It's Cobbins made a little bit of a break. He's gone in that left side. He throws the ball back in. That's what he does well. Now, this is Pakura. And Peter Pakura will play the ball. Now, Walsh, he's got it at first receiver. Long ball out there now to Ricky. He's got a little bit of space in front of him. And Jordan Ricky's pulled down by Colin Matangi and Walker. They want to go quickly back the other way. But it's a slow play of the ball. They stay in the blind though to Walters. He's wrapped up in the tackle. I think they should have kept going left there. Six more tackles, says Jared Sutton. So more pressure here for South Sydney. Pass going across field. And he's actually well contained at the end there by Total Ranilius. Carrigan. Throws a dummy. Flops it out the back. Now goes to Reynolds. Comes back to the left. He finds it a man and puts a kick in. Oh, there's a man that's done the work. And as he grounded the football. We'll have to wait and see now. Latrell Mitchell thinks he's dropped it. Now the referee's ruled no try. So we're going to go and check this one. I don't see much confidence in the Broncos. Ezra man, I don't think thinks he's put the football down. So Mam on the second tackle decides to go with a with a grubber kick. And you can see open space there. Now has the ball the bounce the ball gone his way. And the other thing is he got to the line. Let's see. Latrell Mitchell's underneath, but he's underneath it. 
No, I don't think he's got it down. I think Latrell Mitchell's done a marvellous job to stop this football getting ground on the try line. It was a great, it was a great bit of inter initiative there by Ezra Man to put the ball behind. Isaiah Tass tried to rip it one on one, but Ezra Man retained the football. And then Latrell Mitchell, with the presence of mind, got his hands underneath the football where it was about to be hitting the blade of, a blade of grass on the try line. And I think he stopped the try here. That's a tremendous effort by the, from Latrell Mitchell. Well, it was ruled no try on the field, so they have to have conclusive evidence overturned. I think this should just be no try. Yep. So it's no try. So it's going to be a play of the ball here to Brisbane. Now, where do they reckon he's going to play the ball here? I reckon he's short. So he never got there. So it's second tackle. Man will play it a couple of metres out. They go deep now to Reynolds, and he decides to just give it straight to Jensen. Wilder's is looking for where he needs to go now. He goes to Carrigan. Carrigan for the line. Two metres out from the line. They want a quick play of the ball. Wilder goes one way, goes back the other. Now paint us. And he's five metres out from the line. Last tackle now. Well, Southsea will just look for a kick in behind. It was a bad cast. And now Pen and Piakura has got the ball now. He doesn't, does he know it's the last tackle? I don't think he does, it's a handover. Well, it was a soft end of the set. And thanks for your comments too, Nick. And because of copyright reasons, we can't show any visual content here on Simply Rugby League, but we can show you the scoreboard and we can give you audio. As now we see Tass play it here for South Sydney inside his own danger zone. Well, that... Must be a massive relief for South, but they've had to do all that defensive work in the last couple of minutes. Let's see how they handle the that next five or ten minutes. Hathili's on the field now. Elias is getting the money all the way into space out wide there. But a great tackle there by Ezra Mann. The score still remains four points to nil to Brisbane. A try to Dean Mariner. Six ball tackles now. Out the back from Havili to Burgess, and the referee says the ball's gone forward. So they didn't really take the the restart penalty. I still hope you're enjoying this game to all the fans out there, even without the visual content. Well, it's been a good game so far, really. Both sides are going at each other. Four points to the deal is the score. Brisbane, the only try. Both teams have had plenty of opportunities to put more points on the board. From the scrum, Walsh now goes the man. But he doesn't, uh, he just gets hammered in the tackle there by Johnston and Walker. So Brisbane, what are they going to do in this set? How are they going to crack the South's offensive line? They just go on the inside on this occasion from Carrigan to Haas. What will Man Reynolds and Walsh do it? Carrigan throws a dummy. Oh, it nearly fooled the, the man around the ruck area. Fortunately, Burgess and Cook knew what was happening there. No, it was, yes, it was Kepi actually. Walsh decides to run. Walsh for the line. He's underneath the post. What a magnificent effort. It's a try. To Reese Walsh, right underneath the post. What a magnificent run. There was absolutely nothing on. It came from the, from the play of the ball. He just went back up the middle. There's a couple of lazy defenders. Breakthrough free tackles and scores out of the black dot. He went one way, came back the other, just for a little bit of space. He beats Tom Burgess. He beats Sean Kepi. He beats the man who's just come on in Havili. And then he beats Cabo Murray. And he puts it underneath the post. With his flamboyant touchdown style. And a chance now to make this 10-0 with a kick to cup. 
You shouldn't miss this one. Adam Reynolds. Well, when Reese Walsh touches the football, it's just like magic. And it was again. Well, last week when they were coming back against the Roosters, it was his little break down the left side. And on this occasion, coming back in the middle of the ruck. He just saw some tired forwards. And he gets himself another four-pointer this year. That's two in two games now for Reese Walsh. So, 10 points to nil. As now Adam Reynolds will line this up. But it's the unpredictability of Reese Walsh that just caused havoc there for the, for the South Sydney Big Ben. And that's what they really get scared of. As the scoreline goes to 10 points to nil now. You talk to any big players in the game, front rowers, second rowers, or loose forwards, and they always say it's a quick nippy man that they worry about, not so much the big man because of that sort of footwork. And Reese Walsh has just got that. Well, it all started at the play of the ball earlier with that little break by Patrick Carrigan. That's where it started. And then he got it got on his he got up quicker to play the ball. And then Reese Walsh was able to see some tied forwards. Well, they've now got a knock on from the kickoff. And it's young man Kobe Harrington says, come on. So South City have a chance to bounce back. Well. His first touch. He wants to make an impact. But he just hasn't got the ball in his hands. And so Lavia Havili was the man who made the tackle. The little pocket rocker from Sabala. South Sydney will attack to this left hand side here. Elias and Walker will combine here. As Mill feeds the scrub, he's Elias. Now, nah, decides to go over batting round option, and David Mahali has come onto the field in Jersey 15 now. So all the big super subs are on for South Sydney. Here's another one with Burgess. In his final year with South Sydney before going back home. Book. And Billy. Ilias. Mitchell the long cut out pass. Mill for the line. Wrapped up and tackled there by Jesse Arthurs. He's so big and strong as Tane Mill. Ilias. Avili. Walker. Goes short of... To Colma Tangy now, Kenna. Oh, he gets dumped into the turf there by Staggs and Reynolds. He's come up with some big tackles so far, can Tony Staggs. Cook. And Billy. Pulled down eight metres out from the line. Last tackle now. Now Walker. He puts the kick in. It's too big. He's batted it, but it, he tried to bat it back in, but it did make the field a play, South Sydney. It wasn't a good ending to that set. And so we've got a seven tackle restart. My name is Tom Maness here on Simply Rugby League. I hope you're enjoying the coverage. Ten points to nil. The Brisbane Broncos against South City. Two tries to nil. Dean Marin and Reese Walsh are the try scorers in this game so far. Now Ezra Man. He's trying to forget all about what happened in Las Vegas and get back to that form he had. In the grand final last year. In the season he had last year. He's Wallace in a dummy half. Oh there's Combo on the inside. He couldn't bust through a desperate tackle by Murray. It, was, it had to be made. Carrigan. Now Reynolds. Now long pass out there to Staggs. Tries to beat Richie Kenner. He comes back on the inside. He puts the kick in. He's man on the inside. Now Mitchell was tended to pick it up. Reynolds is in the clear. Has he got the pace? No. His former teammate pulled him from behind Cody Walker. Five metres out. Now, will there be a sin bin here? I think he's going to go to the sin bin here. Yep. Yeah. So, Damien Cook's going to the sin bin. So, ten minutes in the sin bin for Damien Cook for... 
Holding down Adam Reynolds in a try scoring opportunity. Well, it was the little kick in behind that really created that from Katani Staggs. Latrell Mitchell didn't want to pick the ball up. And that just caused chaos there for South and Brisbane. Nearly raised away to score. Adam Reynolds just didn't have the pace. And he was pulled from behind. And Damien Cook just wouldn't let out the play of the ball. There's plenty of time left in this, in this game for South Sydney. If they score one, they can score plenty. We've seen that the last couple of years. We know he saw in the in the 2022 Grant in the 2021 Grand Final against Penrith. So they certainly can score the tries. And while we're at the break, it's 12 points to nil. So just repeating, a penalty goal has been kicking by Adam Reynolds to extend the lead. Extend the lead by 12 points to nil after that sin bidding. And he just held it down. Cody Walker held it down too, but it was the it was the second effort there by Damien Cook. Both former teammates. Well loved. Great teammates and great mates of Adam Reynolds. Well, that might be a big boy for South City not having Damien Cook out for the next nine minutes. Well, at least they've got Sevilla Havili on the field who can play at dummy half. But he's going to have his work rate cut out now. As Major Powers on the field. Watch, has got him out Staggs. Staggs is into the clear. He's got men inside now. Cobb on the easy side. Cobb has got the ball. He passed it too early, Staggs. And he's knocked the ball on Cobb. That's a try gone begging. Well, he might have to go to training next week and get that draw and pass right, Katoni Staggs. He got that all wrong. Maybe if this was later in the season, this would have been a certain try. Again, they had the numbers with the one man down. Staggs was in the clear. He had met inside and out, but he proved to her. Latrell Mitchell did a tremendous job by holding back, retreating, and, and putting the pressure back on. It was actually Ezra Mam on the inside. I apologise. Not selling Cobbo. Big opportunity gone begging there for the, for the Brisbane team to extend the lead to 16. So now, there's a scrum, and it's gone against the food. We don't see that often. Reynolds goes for the long cutout pass. Now Matt Mariner back on, steps back on the inside. Well, you don't see the scrum against the food anymore. Unbelievable. Well, this is putting tremendous pressure on South Sydney. They're going to come back to the play of the ball. Well, that just gets the just get the oxygen back in the lungs here for South Sydney. Whilst out going short to Heverington. Well, what attacking play are they going to come up with here, Brisbane? Carrick is the first receiver. He has to throw the dummy because they're up in the face there of Reese Walsh. Well, Reese Walsh is still screaming out for the football on the left here. He's got it, first receiver now. Now, Pia Kura has lost the ball. Tap back by Murray to Mill. And South Sydney have come up with it. Well, they needed that. And they've got the penalty too. Sell and Cole will get out to play the ball. Well, they just need a bit of a breather there, South Sydney there. They've only got 12 men on the field, remembering that Damien Cook was sent to the sin bin. As you can see up there, now we've got a player put on report as well. Oh, no, is it? Yes, he's been put on report. It was David Mullally. It must have been on a tackle earlier on Brisbane. It might have actually been a, a hit drop tackle. On oh, Patrick Carrigan it was. So he'll have to spend his time back at the NRL headquarters next week. 
to South Sydney. Taking up third world. Paynas has just come to silent. He's got a problem with a knee injury here. So that's a big blow for Brisbane. Well, that could turn the course of events here in this game. Aveli. Ilias. Mitchell, long ball. That floated forward, but the referee said it's fine. Milne. Now to Mitchell. Burgess. Happy to take the tackle. It's the last tackle now. Walker's going to have the ball here. Gets it now onto Latrell Mitchell for the line. Flicks it out to Walker. That's brilliant stuff from South Sydney. And he trying to get it to Johnson, but he couldn't find the target. Well, Johnson's still pondering on 188 tries. He's only got a two, score two to um, equal Billy Slater. as the second top try scorer in rugby league history in Australia. Ken Irvine's on the top with 212. He played in the 50s and he played into the late 50s into the early 70s. The North Sydney and Manly flight. He's Cobbo. Well, the thing with uh, Alex Johnson, he's only 29 years of age. He actually debuted against Brisbane 10 years ago. As Wallace goes from dummy half. That's a handy run. You can see some tied players and no, and no markers. And that's Man Depau. And Man Depau is going to play the ball. Now May on the blind. Now Payakura. And Payakura will play at 20 out. Last tackle. Reynolds, he's going to have to run here. Henrington, Henrington, flops it out back to Reynolds. He, he tries to fling out the back and South Sydney have come up with it. And David Mullally got played underneath his post. Oh, South Sydney look, nearly had their pants pulled down again. That All the South Sydney forwards are absolutely out on their feet here. They just want to get to the halftime break. Four, nearly four minutes to go. Scoreline is 12 0 to Brisbane. Oh, there's a high tackle there on, by, by Brett and Piakura. Now, I'm wondering if the referee will. And the back will look at that. Now, the referee's allowed that to go on there. Okay, so we'll go back to the action. He might be put on, we won't see how the match review committee thinks of that. Anyway, we'll go back live to the play. Kalamatangi. Just try to go slow as you go here for South Sydney. They just, they just need as many players back out on the field here. As Mill now has to go back to play the ball. He's getting a little bit frustrated out there. The Fijian. As now Mitchell puts it. Really, really high. I think we've got another penalty here for obstruction. Yep. So, so Brisbane again. Now, will they think about a penalty goal here or will they go for the try? They're going to go for the six-pointer here. Yeah, so the, the penalties against Double F actually running into one of the defenders who couldn't make a tackle on the kicker. Again, it's one of these new rules this year that try to crack down on. I hate the rule crack down in rugby league, but that's certainly what the referees are doing at the moment in the first two rounds. As Carrigan goes short, and, uh, and Dapar will play the ball. 15 metres out from the line. Can Brisbane go in for their third try? Carrigan. Oh, Harrington can see the line in front of him. He's put it, he's put it down. And a bit of white line fever there. He charged on that football, but forgot to take it. Had a couple of handing errors in this first half as Kobe Harrington. Eight errors to seven against South Sydney. Very warm conditions tonight here in Brisbane, but certainly a great track to play on as Johnson will play at 10 short of halfway. Mullally. He's had his legs taken underneath him there. It was a good tackle. Walker. Out the back there to Mitchell. And the big man's held up in that one. So two minutes to go to half time here. It's 12-0 to Brisbane. Two tries to nil. Dean Mariner 
And Reese Walsh has scored the try so far. Out of Reynolds. It's had, a, it's had a couple of goals as well to add to the scoreboard. It's now Cobbo stemming around a couple. Murray pulls him down. Now Piakura. Marty Dapar. Dapar. Oh, he's put it down. We just we just apologise for the difficulties there, but if you're back with us, the scoreline is 12 nil. Mind those Tom Benes and Simply Rugby League. We'll be soon going to the break, and you'll see all the stats in the first half. of Souths are on the attack here. Can they reduce this deficit before half time? And bring themselves some confidence, especially with 12 men on the field. Walker, Mitchell, long ball, Alex Johnston. They're soon not going to let him score any tries so far tonight. Kalmatangi, Walker, they're standing still here, South Sydney. There's no one running onto the football. They're all out their feet here. Avili, Elias, gets out wide now. And it goes to Tats, and he's been flung towards the side, and I think the ball has somehow stayed in the field of play. But I think the referee's going to come back and rule as a knock-on. Well... Brisbane are keeping, keeping them to nil here, South Sydney. Kevin Miles will be happy with that. So the dying seconds here will tick down here. I don't think you'll see a scrub formed here. And that's half time. So the scoreline here is 12 points to nil. Just repeat the try scorers, Dean Mariner. Scored the first try. Adrian's could kick the goal. Grace Walsh gets us out of the way. The South City will have a chance at least to get those metres up again. And get at least Brisbane's tackle count up. They need a penalty here. At least, at least to get themselves going. Because they really struggled to make any yardage. Oh, I think Malala need to drop the ball again. He's hung on to it. Murray. But he's still going, Cameron Murray. He wasn't held. Crawling himself towards the halfway line. Avili. Jeez, he, he had a very, very busy first half, particularly when Damien Cook went off the field. Very valuable player for the South City side. Well, they'll need some more players like him to make those yardage in the second half as Mullally plays the ball. Last tackle. Elias puts it high. They're in good attacking position here, South Sydney. And they've lost the ball here, Brisbane. Now, I'm sure that Brisbane player has to be in front of Jesse Arthur's. Well, referee's actually saying he's onside here. Oh, surely Billy Walls was in front of the man who dropped the football. I'm very, very surprised here that this is not a penalty here to South Sydney. Surely Billy Walls was offside. Unless he's dropped the ball as well. They say Billy Wallace had dropped it and not Jesse Arthur's. I find that hard to believe. Anyway... So South City will have a scrub, just like they did in the first half. They had the ball early down the opposite end of the park and couldn't get any points on the board. They really depend on that left-hand side, but they're coming to the right on this occasion. Tass. Seven metres out for the line as they will play the ball. Cook going around the ruck area. Now Burgess trying his bump his way through. They go deep now. Elias Murray. No way through there for Cameron Murray. Cook. Elias. Havili. Havili! Havili's over! Well, that's well deserved. There by Sevilli Havili. 
Well, he deserves that try. He just reached out for the line and scored. He was too big, too strong. They went to the left. He decided to go short. He broke through Jordan Reckie's tackle. And he slams the ball down. And they've, and they've got the first point of the second half. How vital it is for this South City side. They really needed that. To start the seven heart going. For all you South City fans. If they score one. They can always score another in very quick succession. That's what Brisbane's got to be careful of here now. He was just too powerful the little man. Ten metres out. It didn't matter. Adam Reynolds was looking there at David Mulally. And he just left a little hole. And so 12 points to 6 here. Latrell Mitchell kicks it over. So it's 12 points to 6 now. In favour of Brisbane. So straight after half time. It's South Sydney are on the board. Good stuff from South Sydney. They've been really struggling, all going to get any points, and they finally cracked them. Gone to the halftime break, had a good, a good sit down. And they had to have a bit of a listening session there to Jason Dimitri, who just laid the law down. Played a bit more simplified there, hang on to the football, and has made the scoreline 12 points to 6. If you'd like to have your say, just leave it in the chat, and remember to like, subscribe, and share. And follow on over the social medias here on my YouTube channel here. As now we see South Sydney off the kickoff. Trying to get themselves into a good attacking position on the fifth. As Murray plays the ball. And he's got a penalty. It's again that Cameron Murray quick play of the ball. That threatened that Brisbane defence. They slow the play of the ball down. So South Sydney got a little bit of a roll on now in the last couple of sets. This is what teams fear of when they play South Sydney. And Jason Dimitri was looking for this. And now we see David Mullally playing the ball. The young man has got a big future in front of him. Elias switches the ball back on the inside and Thomas Burgess has been held and put to ground. They stay to the left. Elias, lovely short ball for Carl Matangi is running on like a steam train. He wants a quick play of the ball. Cook. Here he is again. Short ball to Mulally up next to the post. We're going to have a level ball going coming up. That's 12 points to 10. And the bunny supporters have gone up as one. And again, it's that man, Devia Havili, who laid on the final pass. It was beautiful stuff. Right around the post. They came for the penalty. They just isolated Toby Heverington and, P and Brenna Perakura. And David Mullally slams it down next to the right upright. And so it's 12 points to 10. And Latrell Mitchell will make this 12 all. So you South, South City have never gone away. They were just in hibernation in that first half. They just need oxygen back. And Brisbane... Are running uphill at the moment. And the conversion successful. So it's 12 points all. We'd love to see your support. If you're a Brisbane South Sydney supporter at the moment. If you love the game. Or want to talk about anything about the game. This game or any other game coming up. Or games that are gone. Just leave in the chat. Well, this has been a good game, this one. And it's certainly the shape up to be an exciting finish. 12 points all now here at Lane Park. 
Well, last year it was one all. Brisbane lost the, won the last game quite comprehensively. Well, South are looking for some revenge. And they're certainly looking for some revenge here in the second half. Murray. It came from Cameron Murray last time. He's dropped the football this time. So Brisbane can stop this momentum train of South Sydney if they can get a try here. Cobo takes a little run in field. 20 metres out for the South line. It's only the first tackle. Kobe Harrington. Very strong, but had some problems with his hands. He'd like to get it right here in the second half. Walters. Walters has got it. Here, Cora. Will play it 12 metres out for the line. Brennan plays it slowly. And Matt DePao will play it. Six metres out for the line. They're in the middle of the field now. Reynolds, he just puts the kick in. Straight in the waiting arms of Walker. He hasn't got the pace. And, he's, and his mate runs him down, Adam Reynolds. And the ball goes behind him. But the Yeah, the referee said it went backwards. I was waiting to see what the call was. Mitchell plays it. Now Richie Kenner. Gets him inside Brisbane Territory. Well, it's all been South Sydney in the second half. They play the ball on the 40 meter line. Brisbane's end of the field. Ilias inside ball. Oh, man, that's a big shot. And Brendan Piacora comes up with beauty. Luke. Now Graham and Cook out of dummy half. Fourth tackle now. Walker. Kalmatangi is standing still there. Easy meet for the defence. This will be the last now. Since Jared Sutton, they're 20 metres out. South have scored all the points in the second half. Elias puts in a bomb. It was a bit too deep, and Reese Walsh. With that similar jumping style of boost, so we get that foot out. He needs to be a bit careful with that. Well, Brisbane just thought they could come out in the second half and run out of the top of them. Well, they proved themselves wrong. He's Walsh with the ball now. 74% in the second half of South Sydney with possession. He goes Reynolds. Well, that's not normally Adam Reynolds' job, but he has to do he has to make the run for his team. And now it goes on a Reese Walsh. She puts the kick and speed charge down. Six more tackles now. It's combo. Tries to get outside his man. He does get outside his man. Tries to beat another. Still going, Cobo. Throws the ball back in field of man. Still going as a man. He's 10 metres out for the line. The pass look a bit suspicious, but the referee let it go. Smooth, he's on the field. He's a dummy half. Murray. And a pal. And a pal will play it 10 metres out. Smoothie goes himself. Smoothie for the line. Two metres out. The former Melbourne could nearly could put the ball on the line. Carrigan. Carrigan. Flops it out the back now. Fletcher Baker's on the field. He flops it out the back to Smoothie. They've got the numbers to the right. Walsh puts the kick in. It's bounced up nicely, but it's been battered dead. Well, tremendous play. By the Brisbane Broncos. They razzle dazzle. Well, Tomo made the pass down this left-hand side. He got the ball back on the inside. I wasn't sure about the pass, if it was legal. And they just kept the ball alive in the middle of the field through Baker. And had to a couple of other players. And it was so close. And South just got the hand on the back of the ball, the dead ball line. So a line drop out. Thanks for your comments, Messi 10 go. Just like what Messi has done there. If you'd like to have your say, just leave it in the chat. We're going for the short drop out here from Latrell Mitchell for South. It's gone the 10 metres, but it's gone too far, and Zellon Cobb has taken it. And we start the set 25, 23 metres out. And a bow. To Pao. 
will play the ball. Just short of the south ten. Six more tackles to come to left this time. Walsh, caught by beautiful hands. Arthur scores. Beautiful stuff on Brisbane. Get back the lead. Well, they just kept. They just had the hands to get the ball to Jesse Arthur's. To go in for Brisbane's first try the second half. They saw the numbers to the left. Good work there from Walsh. He's, he could see some vision out on that left-hand side. Beautiful tap on there from Selwyn Cobbo, who's not well known to do that. And Jesse has had a little juggle, but he still had the time in the world to put it down in the corner. And the scoreline now is 16 points to 12. Well, at least for the for the Broncos fans, they could breathe a sigh of relief because the South train was coming. Well, since that in since that All Stars game, Jesse Arthur's has sort of come to life at the Brisbane club, and it was Reese Walsh again that caused all the problems. He attracted two defenders, then created the overlap. Beautiful tap on from Selwyn Cobbo, and then Jesse Arthur's finishes it off. So a tough kick from the sideline for Adam Reynolds. So the veteran of this side has a chance to get them back to a converted try in front. Here he comes. Now he's hooked it badly. So no goal. Hasn't got the legs or the accuracy. The 16 points to 12 is the score. Well, magic again by Reese Walsh. He created the line dropout from his kick, and then he created the pass there to get it on to Cobbo on that left-hand side. Cobbo, I called rocks and diamonds. He can make the easy things hard and the hard things easy. And he made the hard thing easy there. And I, as I said for Brisbane, they are probably shocked to see South Sydney get 12-0 against them after conceding nothing in the first half. To get that try back or get the, their confidence back. Depart, oh, makes a little bust now. Smoothie out wide in the stags. Smoothie. Carrigan. Oh, he's trying to get that ball away. That's Brisbane are very, very dangerous with those offloads. The, the part all. So Martin will play it on the halfway. Formerly Martin to power. It's now Martin the part all. Oh, Ricky had took it and knocked the ball on backwards there. It wasn't a good pass. That is the last one. Because I'm the blind here. Reynolds now comes back to the open. Puts out the bomb. A lot of pressure there for Latrell Mitchell. Well, at the end of the day, he took it all by himself. Reese Walsh overran it. But certainly, Reese Walsh is putting pressure on Latrell Mitchell every time Adam Reynolds puts the ball up. And Tane Mill gets his side some meters there with that run. Isaiah Tass up to the 30. Well, they need Damien Cook back on the field, which he is now. That's a Tyler. The feeder now, who's a, who's a major cog on this side. He needs to be making meters for his team. And Talis Duncan, who's coming on the field for the first time, was named in the starting lineup and being pushed back to the bench by Jason Demetriou. As now South drives it deep. Oh, Arthur's was trying to get into the in goal area, but he couldn't get his feet there in time. And he charges back towards the 20. And he meets um, Tane Milne and Isaiah Tass. Oh, solid hit there on Selwyn Cobbo. David Moali didn't miss him. So the backs are just getting involved in, in the action here for Brisbane. Payne Ars is back on the field. That's good news here for Brisbane. The machine, the rugby league machine, is out on the field now. Quick play the ball from Baker. Smoothie now to Payne Ars. Inside South Territory. 
Last tackle, Walsh has got the ball. He puts a little deck kick in behind. Plenty of space there for him, and Latrell Mitchell has to fly onto it. He doesn't want Reese Walsh flying on that football. Well, Brisbane look like they're just back in control in the last couple of minutes. They're back to their old ways again after that shock 12 points after half time. We'll soon have a quick look at the stats in a minute. My name is Tom Benes from Simply Rugby League, and I hope you enjoyed the coverage here between on Thursday night football between Brisbane Broncos and South City Rabbitohs. 16 to 12 Brisbane over South. It was 12 0 at half time. South came back at in a flurry to level at 12 all. Tries to Avili and Mullally. And then obviously just only a couple of moments ago, it was Jesse Arthur who got the try for Brisbane to put them back in front. And they've just turned the ball over here south on the half, around the halfway line. Now what's happened is an accidental offside here. The Talos Duncan got in front of the kicker. And it's hit him in an accident offside position. So Brisbane in an ideal position here. As now we see Reynolds go on to Fletcher Baker. I'd like to see if Fletcher Baker goes to Brisbane after playing for the Roots for a couple of years. Yeah, how his impact goes on this team. Carrigan. I reckon he's the man of the match tonight, Patrick Carrigan. He has been out of this world with his work rate. Reynolds. Reynolds, wrapped up there by Talos Duncan. Fourth tackle now for Brisbane. Walsh, inside ball to Haas. Stepping around a couple for the for a big man. He finds it to Carrigan. Six more tackles. Oh, Brisbane is just playing with him at the moment. Well, they're gonna cut. They're gonna have to shut this out, or it could be double trouble here for South Sydney. They can't concede any more points. Reynolds. Walsh. Intercept. Johnston. He had to make the take. Otherwise, Brisbane would have been away for their fourth. Well, they had a big overlap on that right hand side. And the experienced man, Alex Johnson, made the take. To Tyler will play it just short of his 40 metre line. Talos Duncan. Well, they're out there. They're out on their feet again here, South Sydney. They're just not moving. Elias wraps around the back to Walker. Pull down by Haas. Last tackle now, says Jared Sutton. And again, we've got a downtown penalty. Well, they're not learning. Sean Kepi is the man penalised. You can't move forward. You've got to stay there. They're not l learning. See, he's moved forward. And he's also taken out pain ass as well. So he could have been penalised for two different things. Jason Dimitri won't be happy with him. 21 minutes to go. 16-12. The game's in the balance. A silly penalty by South Sydney. This new rule has come in, the new interpretation has come in this year. All clubs are warned about it. For both blockers and also downtown. And Sean Kepi obviously hasn't learned his lesson yet. The tap's been taken and Fletcher Baker will be tackled. Just short of the 20. Carrigan, Haas. That seems to be their main attack. And Reese Walsh as well. Reynolds, he decides to run against some of his, against his former club. He's averaged 16 points in his last two games against this club. Man, a run around with Reynolds. Stays at the point. Piakura comes in middle field. Still going, Brandon. And Piakura will play it. 10 metres out from the south line. This will give him some breathing space. They score again. Carrigan. Well, it'd be well deserved he gets a try. Smoothie. Walsh. Long ball. Now goes to Dean Mara in field. 
He scored earlier tonight. He was looking for try number two. Last tackle now. They go to the short side of Ricky. Hand over. Well, they, they, they try to see if they can outcatch this the South Sydney defence. Well, they're going to have to do a lot of hard work here. All the You can nearly throw a blanket over them at the moment. They're all around the play of the ball. Milne, there's going to be some hard runs here for South Sydney. They're going to come back. He was actually held. So the score line is 16 and 12 to Brisbane. If you'd like to have your say, just leave in the chat. You can talk among yourselves about anything, especially rugby league. There's a cub wire now from Cook to Murray. And if you like if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, press on subscribe so I can give you the content that you want. On my socials and also on this YouTube channel. Totala. Plays it just inside Brisbane Territory. Last tackle now. Elias with the bot with a floating bomb. It's a horrible looking kick. And it stays in the field of play, but it then finds the sideline. Well, nobody wanted to take. Adam Reynolds is just hobbling back towards the play of the ball here. Hope it's not a calf injury. It's, it's been now called the old man's injury. He is 33 years of age. He'll be turning 34 this season. And that's a driving tackle on Sal and Cobo. Well, the referee said that's it. that was held, so. Mariner. Just have a quick look at some stats in a second. Fifty-two to forty-eight possession to Brisbane, seventy-one percent completion rate. That's what Brisbane's done so much better in the second half. Their completion rates, as uh, Jordan Ricky's got them twenty-five out from their own line. Tackle breaks is twenty-nine to sixteen. The line breaks are five to two. So they're causing South Sydney havoc. This is the last. Reese Walsh is going to run. Gets it out wide out of combo. He finds it at Arthur's. He puts a kick in. It's bouncing every Reese Walsh is going to get the bounce and he's going to go in again. What about that? Oh, that's just magic from Reese Walsh. He's been everywhere tonight. He certainly redeemed himself in Vegas. He wanted to show why he's the Queensland fullback. They ran on the last there. Walsh goes for the cutout pass. Gets it to Cobo. He finds it to Arthur, who puts a beautiful infield kick in and bounces away from Latrell Mitchell. And Reese Walsh was on the spot to go in for his second. It'll be beautiful from head on. Long ball to Cobo. He attracted Tass. And then Arthur puts the kick in. Now, there was plenty of Broncos chasing. Well, the student can bounce anywhere, and it certainly did for Latrell Mitchell in the. And for Reese Walsh, it bounced up perfectly for him to go score his second try. So that's three tries in two matches in 2024 for Reese Walsh, the Queensland fullback. I was just talking about line breaks, and there was another one. It's just killing South Sydney. Adam Reynolds is down again. Hope, I think he's going towards the sideline. But South Sydney were all back waiting for the kick. And Reese Walsh could see that. And he decided to take his chance and go and try to run it on the halfway. Well, I think that's the best thing to do. That's where your best attacking options are around the halfway, your opposition 40. You have much more space, a lot more width. And they certainly did that. They didn't have that chance last week in in Las Vegas, or two weeks ago against Las Vegas. Now he's going to take the goal kicking here as well. So he should put his team firm in front now. So it's 22 points to 12 here at Lang Park. And they're just starting to get a bit more breathing space on the South Sydney side now. Be one hell of a game. 
Souths came back to have it 12 all there at one stage at nearly par the second half. But it's just been, but unfortunately, they've just been overrun once. Once Payne Arson that came back on the field, Patrick Carrigan, these sort of guys. Souths had the work cut out for them. They're going for the short kickoff here, are they? No. They're going for the long kickoff. And it's Fletcher Baker. He'll take the hitter. And Pia Kura. While the crowd would be enjoying this game tonight. It's been a very, very good crowd here at Lang Park. It was a bit salt there for the, as I said, at the start of the second half, but it's certainly come to voice once again, as this Brisbane crowd always does, one of the most loyalist memberships in the game, one of the highest membership in the game, and they're seeing the, the two little runners-up last year going out to play after playing in Vegas in round one. That's a good kick from Walsh. And Alex Johns had a little bit of a juggle there. Well, he's still stuck at 188 tries. He's Alex Johnson. He's the top try scorer in South Sydney history. He's trying to chase down the top try scorer in rugby league history in Australia. Tane Mill now. Struggling to get to his 20. Well, they just go nowhere here, South Sydney. The Trail Mitchell had to take a hit up there. They come to the left from Walker. Now Conor Tony, quick hands to Kenneth. He's put it down. Well, he's continuing off that last week's performance. He got a try, but then his hands and his defence let him down. Well, they could put the cue in the rack here now, Brisbane. With about with less than fourteen minutes to go, and John and Ricky's been driven back. Great defence there by Duncan and Kepi. Baker. Goes straight into the defence. This is the third tackle. They come to the right side. Randall's inside ball and it's been put down. And they're away. Walking out of Kenner. And so South Sydney get further downfield. Johnston. Thanks for your comments, David. 13 plus. Well... They only have to get another try and they can go ahead of that. To Tyler. Remember, gamble responsibly. Kepi. Out the back there to Ilias. Oh, it's, it's rebounded for Brisbane Broncos. Play here now. Ezra Mam is away, but I think the ref is going to call it back and say it's come off a of Brisbane hand. So South City will come up with the ball here. Well, Ezra Man was going off with a prize. He scored three tries in the grand final last year, and unfortunately, he wasn't awarded the premiership. Unfortunately, he had to take the second prize on offer the, on that night, and he just had to take the second prize there. Well, it's certainly been a night for footy here. Beautiful weather conditions. It's not much wind air around. It's quite warm. And you can tell that Brisbane has certainly climatised to it at the moment. To South Sydney. Well, they need to score quick. They need to get. They need to score soon or this game will be far and gone. Duncan. Put to ground. 20 metres out. Ellie's has dropped the ball. Well... He just took his eyes off the football there, young Lockwood. Now he's been a lot of pressure on him. The young man. He was figuring out too many things. He was figuring out, should I kick? Should I pass? What's going to happen in the next couple of tackles? And, they just, and the errors climb up again. That was the problem last week for South Sydney. They couldn't make the metres and they made too many errors. And it's come back to haunt them again. Where I think for Brisbane tonight, they're making the yardage. I know they had a bit of a scare early, but they really are making the yardage now. 
Carrigan has been outstanding. So has Payne Haas. Reese Walsh has been in everything. But you can't also... As now Cobo's got the ball. Adam Reynolds has done his job as well. Brennan Paakura. Nine short of halfway. Carrigan out the back to Walters. Now Walsh. Oh, he nearly got through again. Cody Walker had to make a desperate tackle. Adam Reynolds is coming off the field now. So I'm wondering who's gone to half back here. Walters. I'd say Walters will go to half and Spoofy will go to dummy half. Carrigan. Haas. La it's the second tackle. So they've got a restart here. Carrigan. Walters. Wrapped up and tackled. Well, he's down to be happy at the stand at the moment. We've got less than 10 minutes to go. Brisbane front by 10. Haas. They can seal it here right now. They can score another try. They come left with Mam inside ball. Cobo has gone across field. He's trying to find support. He won't need support. He nearly went himself. And he's two metres out from the line. They want a quick play the ball, but he's getting up slowly. Last tackle. Walsh. Walsh inside ball to Billy Walters. Can't get there. Hand over. That's desperate defence on the goal line. The South Sydney defence. He's hanging on, but they haven't, have they got any energy for attack? Have they got any energy to get up the other end of the field? Mill, well, the backs really will have to help these forwards out. They've been working their butts off here in the second half. Especially the late end of that first half. But it may be taking its toll now. And this Brisbane team... Are certainly loving this. They're going to spread it wide into Johnston. Johnston sees a bit of th sees a bit of nightlife here. Still going, and great tackle from behind for the youngster there in Dean Mariner. Kennedy at dummy half. Cole you took it beautifully. Walker. Now to Tyler. They need to spread the ball there. It shouldn't go to the big man. That was a waste of tackle. Last tackle now. Elias goes now to Duncan. Now Walker. It's still the last. Handover. They got it all wrong there, South Sydney. Well, they need to keep the ball alive there for any chance to reduce this deficit and have a chance to win this game. Well, if you like this game, please press on the like. And if you want to share to anyone else you know, press the share button, and don't rem and don't forget to subscribe to see other to see the content like this every week. Well, they've got a ten point margin here, Brisbane. They're still inside their own territory at the moment, Carrigan. Breaks the first band and has been pulled down by Murray and Cole Matung. You've done a lot of work in this game. Walsh. Well, since Adam Reynolds has got off the field, Reese Walsh has been heavily involved with, with the playmaking and the kicking. So that's what they've decided. Tuss. Tuss have really struggled to make metres tonight. And it's showing on the scoreboard. Mitchell. Flings out the back. Nice. He finds his brother Latrell. So the Mitchell brothers combining there. Shaq to Latrell. Now they go out to Murray. Out the back to Elias. He got hit. And goes straight on there. It's Talis Duncan. Without the headgear on. Elias. Murray. Mitchell, the bit laconic here, South Sydney. A lot of them will kick a chance here for Johnson. No, it's gonna go it's gonna go dead in goal off Brisbane. Now, I think that we're gonna stop play here. 
Now, the referee's going to call no try. We're just going to see how we're going to restart this. Is it going to be a dropout or a 20 meter restart? Now, is Johnson taking him out of play here without the football? Well, does Johnson get a hand on this? Two things. Has Johnson pushed him out of the way and then has he got a hand on it? Well, it's definitely going to be no try. That's that's not going to be any trouble. So they're going to go back 20 meter restart. It's definitely come off Johnston. So it's starting to fade away here for South Sydney. Five minutes and 40 seconds left on the clock. And Brisbane are just playing it up the middle safely at the moment. This is where they went wrong last week. I think they chanced their hand a little bit too much at times and really, really cost themselves the game. Thanks for all your comments tonight. We've still got another five minutes to go and also we've got a post match as well if you'd like to leave your comments. Brisbane, go through Walters. Now to Cobo. Sorry, it's, sorry, it's Katoni Stags on the right-hand side. Well, Cobo's been dangerous on the left-hand side, and Stags has been dangerous on the right. Wallace went down the blind side. That was interesting on the last. Now, Mariner's going to score! Wow, it's Cobo with a... Well, that, was a that was a beautiful play. There was absolutely nothing on. There was nothing on. Now, Billy Wallace was going to get wrapped up on the last, and it was a changeover. And Dean Mariner has come up with a bit of individual brilliance. Well, let's have a look at this. He, Billy Wallace goes out the blind side, and then Mariner's got over the top of Alex Johnson, who's no slouch, and he's gone in to score his second try. So it's a night of double scoring. Beautiful stuff from Dean Mariner. Beautiful little kick. He stays inside the side and the perfect bounce. To make a 26 to 12 and to wrap up this game. Well, that's brilliant stuff. Well, their last tackle options have been just coming up trumps for them. Well, la last week they were, in, they were in Vegas. They must have brought it back to Australia. That's just magic. From Dean Mariner, the ball just bounces beautifully onto his chest. South Sydney were not expecting that at all. Alex Johnson was not expecting Billy Walters and Mustard knows Alex Johnson was up in the line. And as and for will do, you can get your second. And Reese Walsh has a chance here to kick it from the from the touch line, and he's done a beautiful right between the posts. So it's twenty eight points to twelve. It's becoming a thumping now for South Sydney, who are in this game in the second half. But all that defence they've had to do is suddenly coming back to haunt them. We've had two tries tonight to Reese Walsh. Two tries now to Dean Mariner. For this South Sydney side. And now they go for the short kickoff. And South Sydney ends up with Fermilius. Thanks for your comments, Jasper. And so can South Sydney get a try? Late in this game for, for a face saver. Shaq Mitchell. Nine metres out from the line. Athelia dummy half. Murray. To Tyler. And the train station siren's gone off again. Restart pounding here to South Sydney. Murray. Elias. Strong tackle there by the little man, Ezra Man. Well, it gets, gets rid of that frustration. Latrell Mitchell gets dumped on his back. 
and flings the ball backwards. It was knocked on backwards, says Jared Sutton. And it's his brother Shaq who ends up with the ball. Now Walker on the left. Well, that left-hand side attack tonight hasn't been that dangerous at all. And Brisbane's contained it well. Walker to Tyler. Takes a settler. Three metres out from the line. Last tackle now. What will South come up with here? Murray puts a kick and that's going to go too deep. Well, it's bounced back beautifully. I thought it was going to go too deep. It's got a wicked bounce. And Combo somehow stays in the field of play. Well, that's remarkable play there by Cameron Murray. He put the little, the little grubber kick in and just bounces up on a point. And Fortress Cell and Combo stays in the field of play. So Carrigan's having an early rest with Adam Reynolds, who's obviously got some sort of injury. 45 tackles for Cameron Murray. Cooks, 36. Carrigan, 35. Total 30. And Kepi, 26. What a night Patrick Carrigan's had. Paynars hasn't been far behind him. And I don't think Reese Walsh has it either. He's Reese Walsh with the ball down the last. Drives it downfield. Well, he's found open pasture. It's going to stay up. Stop. No, it's gone too big. Well, that's disappointing, that kick. It just went a little bit too long. And so we're going to have a, a seven-tackle restart starting on the 20-meter line. So just repeating that we're going to have our game also between Penrith and Parramatta. 7.50 p.m. So join us for that one. Check your local guides if you're overseas. And so it's 20 points to 12. South guard on the attack again. Through the 12 match on this left hand side. He's made a little bit of a pass. He sees Alex Johnson free on the left. He's going to go himself. And the troll's going to score. Latrell Mitchell has a little bit of a fun wrestle too there with Reese Walsh. Who's I think got a little bit of cramp or something as well. He scores a try. In the last bit of the game. 28 points to 16. And the true Mitchell. At least puts a smile on the South Sydney faces before they leave tonight. Well, it came on the left hand side. It is that left side attack. A big dummy there from Walker. He breaks the tackle of Billy Wilders. He decides to go himself. They had no support. And he... And Reese Walsh just couldn't get him. Well, the Troy Mitchell scored last week close to the line. This time he scored out wide. Bustling run there by the Troy Mitchell. And then he breaks through, and there was just no one at home. He saw the middle of the field was wide open. And he runs towards the post to improve the position for his goal kicking. So it's 28 points to 16 now. Both both players have got cramped. They probably haven't played a lot of rugby league. It's also in those hot, humid conditions there in Brisbane. Well, when Latrell Mitchell gets involved in the action, things happen. It's full time now here. It will be full time now here in Let Lane Park. So... Latrell Mitchell has now scored his 100th try in rugby in first grade rugby league in Australia. What a tremendous effort for the young man. Here he comes in. He slots the goal. That is full time. And so the Brisbane Broncos bounce back here in front of their home crowd here at Lang Park. So they've gone from Las Vegas to Brisbane Vegas. With a very strong victory by 28 points to 18.